All right, everyone, welcome to HD Piano. My name is Joanna, and in this video today, we are going to have a look at Be Kind by Marshmallow and Halsey. And in this video, we're going to look at the first and second verse, and this is a melody version. So here we go, after four. One, two, three, four. So that's the first verse and then later on in the video we'll look at the second time that we play that verse. There's a couple of variations. Also watch all the way through to the end. I'm going to explain a little bit more about the harmony but let's let's learn the song first and then if you want you can go and watch the end of the video and see at the end when I talk about the four chords that we're going to have in this piece. But all you need to know to start is that we have four sharps in this piece. So we have four black keys. So we've got C sharp, D sharp, F sharp and G sharp. So instead of playing C, you're going to play C sharp, D sharp, instead of D, an E, an F sharp, a G sharp, and an A. So just watch out for that in your piece today. And so we're in the key of E major. That's all that means. We have those four shops to watch out for. Now we've also got four chords. So we have this low octave A. Then we're going to go to this octave E. And then octave Bs and then C sharp. And we really just cycle around those four chords today. So sometimes all you need is just that octave pattern in the left hand, and you can have a really nice punchy bass line that drives the harmony of the song. So A, A to E to B to C sharp. So first of all, I would try and get your hands around that. Um, if you want some more information, you can watch Devon's video on this over on htpiano.com as well. It's really useful on key signatures and working on the technical side of things. But anyway, let's begin up here. So I'm going to start with my thumb on that C sharp. And I'm going to go up to G sharp with my little finger to F sharp. So the counting is this. One, E and A, uh, two, three, E and A. Uh, If you like, you can use the pedal here. You can also try and hold this C sharp the whole time. Can you see how I'm not letting it go? Right, the next chord we're going to move to is an E. So I'm going to play that low B now. I'm going to try and keep that held down the whole time. I'm going to re-pedal, which means put my pedal down again. And I've got G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp, G sharp. Two of those. And then G sharp, F sharp, G sharp. So it just goes around those uh, four notes. Let's just practice that. Can you see how I'm keeping that B held down? We got our counting one, two E and a three and four E and. Really, it's just following the vocal line of the song. Okay, let's move on to our next bar. Try and follow my finger numbers as well. We're going to go to a B. So I'm going to play B and F sharp, which is really part of my B chord. A, B and F sharp. And can you see how I'm keeping my hands here? I've got my fourth finger on the F sharp. I'm going to come down third finger on the E. Up to G sharp on my little finger. Down to the F sharp. And then F sharp to B. So the counting of this is one, two, and three and a four e and and i'll do it without counting now one more time Okay, let's go from the beginning. OK, 
Okay, so don't forget you can always stop and report, uh, repeat any section that you haven't quite got yet. Um, and that's absolutely fine to do. And I'd recommend you do it before you move on with me to the next part. Right, we're going to move down to a C sharp place now. And I'm going to go to an A, G sharp, F sharp, G. G sharp, right? So we've got one E and A, two E and. So all together without counting. So I'm going to hold my pedal down for this C-sharp bit and then replace, put the lift up and put the pedal down for the B when I go to the next part. Now here we can do a finger switch, we can go finger 5 and then switch to finger 3 on that E, F-sharp G. So the counting on this is 3 and 4 and. So the whole bar sounds like this. It's better to try and do that finger switch, actually. Um, I kind of cheat a little bit, sometimes go to my third finger, but I think it's better to try and do the finger switch if you can. All right, so uh, let's go from the beginning. that cycle over again. Now we've got that low octave ace. And here we can just uh, play our eight notes at the end. So one, two, e, and a three, and four, and. And then we can go down to this B place. So that's exactly the same as what we had before. And uh, then this time we're going to go to our C sharp place. And I'm going to start with my second finger on the G sharp. We got one E and a three, two E and a, sorry, one E and a, two E and a. Just like that. And, uh, and then the end is pretty much the same. We're going to go to the E. So it's the same as what we had before. So let's just have a look at that whole second part of the first verse. Okay, now let's just look at the second time that we played this verse. This is a variation, so if you just want to play the first verse again, that's absolutely fine. But this is the second time that we play the verse. So there's a slight difference here. We've gone up. So let's just check that out. We've got the E. And then we're going to play B, G sharp. B, G sharp, C. So I'm kind of moving my little finger there, but let's see if there's a better way of uh, fingering it. So we can do fourth finger on the B. And that way I don't have to move my hand anyway. Maybe that's a better way to do it. So the counting on this is one, two E and a three and four E and keep it held down. And you're going to go into the next bar. So let's just check that out. We've got one and two and. And then the ending part is the same as what we had before. So it's only that those two bars that are really different. Let's put them together. Okay, so I'm going to play through that second time through the verse the whole time. Now see if you can play along. I'll go a bit slower.
really, really fun. And when you get kind of up to speed, um, it becomes a lot easier. So just, just quickly look through those four chords that we have in this piece. And don't forget to go on to HD Piano and check out Devin's video about the four chord pop um, tune as well. So it's really important kind of to know this because we see it so much in our songs and our pieces of music. So the four chords that we have in this piece, we have, of course, we're going to build upon our root in the bass. We've got A, so A, C sharp and E. And we're going to play kind of variations of this in the piece. If you can, you can try. You can try playing uh, inversions. So what really an inversion is just uh, switching the notes around. So we put an A on the top this time. And then we put the C sharp on the top. And then we can come down. And this time put the C sharp on the bottom and this time put the A on the bottom. So we kind of see that chord and it's different shapes, it's different inversions. So our next chord we have is an E. And this is just built upon the E chord here. So we've got E, G sharp and B. And we can see it like this. So if you want to practice a little exercise, you can do this. And then you can put the E on the top. And then you can put the G sharp on the top. And then the other chord that we have is our B chord, of course. And so we've got B, D sharp, and F sharp. And again, we can practice our inversions. Put the B on the top. And then our final chord we have is C sharp minor, which is C sharp, E, and G sharp. And again, we can invert it. Sometimes playing these technical exercises sound really, really nice. And just practicing the different inversions. If you're just starting this, I would practice the, the four chords that you can find and try playing them in their different inversions. Don't forget to check out Devin's video for sure. He will explain this in a bit more depth. All right, well done. And I look forward to seeing you on hdpiano.com and we can look at the rest and the remaining sections to this video. Well done.